Okay. If you want to check if your banquet is ready, you can just have a taste. Or. Oh. Hello, 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 lovelies. I welcome you to Sandra's Real Life. I'm Sandra from Ghana. Today we are going to prepare banku. Banku, do you know how to prepare banku? I mean the professional way. You know that hmm, when my sister prepares banku, it's something else. It's different. It's so trying. She said, yeah, Dan Kasa. Eh? Her banku is so different. When prepare it, I beg. You can't go a day without that banku. Banku is a traditional food loved by everyone in Ghana. I mean, every single person loves banku in Ghana. Eh? I mean, every single person in Ghana loves banku. Whether the person is living in Ghana or outside Ghana, banku is number one. One of the best food everyone loves is because it can be eaten with anything. can be eaten with okra. Yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> Palm nut soup, granola soup, pepper, gravy, incontomere stew, um, spinach stew, a bean stew, anything. Did I mention pepper? Yes, pepper and fish or salmon or sardines or herrings, anything. Tilapia, tilapia, tilapia. Yep, tilapia and banquet pepper. Hey, please, I beg, don't go there. Today we are going to eat it with um, some chicken pepper spices, bisa. You see that thing and maybe some small sausage, bisa. You see it, don't worry. I'm going to show you everything, eh? But Banku is mostly enjoyed by the Airways in Ghana, the Fantis, and also the Gans. Yes, it's it, it, somehow their food, but we will not give it to them. You all enjoy Banku in Ghana, okay? So let's dig in. I told you already, it's my sister who is coming to prepare it because as for her, Banku, the I beg. But the rest, she can't beat me, please. So the rest, that she can't. She can't beat me, Kra. But Banku, she is the best in this house, okay? Yes. Let's start cooking, baby. Okay, I want her to take a screw. Marco, stop. Vinny, stop. So we have the condo. We are using the yellow corn today. Condo. And then the cassava dough, I already made it with water. So that I will be able to sieve it. When I sieve it, all the lambs will stay back so that the smooth part will be part of the bamboo. Because you don't want to be eating bamboo with lambs in it. So I make sure that all the smooth part pass through the strainer very well and it will be left with only the ones that I don't like. So I'll keep on mixing it this way. You have to use a strainer which has a little bit bigger holes. But if you use the small ones, it is very difficult for you to get the food out of the strainer. Okay. So we go this way. So you see the cassava dough has sticks in it. Yeah, when you make your cassava, you see some sticks. So like this, this one, you don't want them in the back. So you strain it in order to get all of them cassava. out. You strain all out so that you get the the unwanted part, you throw it away. So with this, I'm going to add a little bit of water to make sure that everything is out perfectly. So this part of the cassava dough, I don't need it. I'll just throw them away. So there is the corn. Then this very well. I'll use my hand to mix it until I get a perfectly fine, uh, what do you call it, mixture. Like Before I put it on the fire. Like, 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 like. This is a big pot of banku. This banku can last for maybe three or eight, four or five days in my house. Because me personally, banku is my favorite. Do you know why my sister is good at preparing banku? Hmm, I will tell you. As she is missing, let's chat. Do you know why my sister is good at preparing banku? Because she is half gan. Gan and Ashanti. Her father is a gan. And the mother is Ashanti. So she stayed with the father. That's why she is good at the preparing of banku. Because as for gans, when it comes to um, condo uh, recipes, they are the best. I have the dough very fine you have to make sure you have enough water in it 
otherwise your bamboo become very hard in the process of preparing so let me wash my hands and I, I still add a little bit of water to it yeah, I'm not going to transfer it onto the fire this is very heavy This is my bamboo stick. I'll use it to stir. We stir it until the solution hardens up. We stir it until it becomes hard. You make sure that your fire is very well, very good, so that everything will be fast for you, else you waste too much time on the bamboo. So you keep on stirring it this way. At some point, you add your salt. But I like to stir for a while before I add the salt to it. That way it becomes hard very fast. When you add the salt, it will slow it down. Okay. So it keeps stirring as you are fanning your fire. Right now it is forming. You can see that gradually it's, it's becoming hard. So at this point, I'll add in the salt. And I'll continue stirring. At this point, you make sure you don't stop stirring, otherwise, it will form lumps. And food takes a lot of salt. This is okay for now. I'll be mixing it continuously. It's becoming very hard. Since it's hard like this, I can't continue doing it with one of my hands. So I have to support it with the, the metal sticks here, whatever. Metal things over here. I actually don't know its name. Easy to hold the pot firmly on the fire. And I'm going to add my legs so that I can stir it with both hands this way. So I'll stir it for some time until everything becomes very hard. Then the real business starts from there. Right now that is becoming hard, make sure you drive it closer to the pot in order to smoothen every lump that may be in it. Do it continuously until everything is fine. You don't want everything to go out, so just use your hand to. So this is what you should be expecting. Right now, you do it continuously until the bamboo is well cooked. You add water at certain point when you see that it's too hard for you. Don't do the bamboo this way as I'm doing it, stretching the stick closer to the pot. Bamboo now is soft. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a style. It's gonna be trying. Yeah, so you need to yeah, but you're trying. You see like this. Like kind of sticky. Yeah. I'm over brown for them rawati. Kind of sticky. So I'm using the knife to dress. The edges of the pot in order to make it a little clean. The frying bamboo is mostly a mess. So at this point, the bamboo looks a little bit cooked. I'm going to add water to it because I'm I'm not able to drive it very well. It is hard. So just put the water in it like this. 
and then get all the ones on the side into the pot. Just check all the skills. This is perfect, perfectly done by gun lady. So you should understand. <laughs> so let me get rid of the hardened parts. I don't need that one in the bag. So which ones are you removing? The part that has gotten too hard. Mm. When it's when it, it adds up to the bamboo, it will become like lumps in it. So I want to get rid of it so that they don't fall back into the So I'm going to cover the pot and allow it to boil for some time before continuing with the, with the job. That, Oh. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn this whole thing. So this one I have to put it in a way that the water will not splash on me. So gradually. While waiting for the bank, I'm going to work on the rubber. Today I'm using rubber. Normally we use the plantain. So I use rubber today. Just split it into a half. You tear this part so that you get the shape of the rubber. So I use it for the bank. So I'm going to do as many as I can. I can get about 20 pieces of bank from this. I make sure I have about 20 pieces of rubber down so that when it's ready, it will be easy for me when I'm making it into a ball. So with, with the water I added, it still wouldn't be enough. After some time, I still have to add another water to it. So that it loses up and becomes very soft. Not soft like the food. Soft. This house, like our bank is soft. For some people, this will be okay for them. If you like it this way, it will be okay. After some time, you can just get it off the fire and you can start enjoying. But for us, I'll add a little water so that will boil over again. my water here why the salt not enough yeah the salt is not enough bamboo here is a lot so i'll mix it to make sure everything dissolves very well in the water right you'll be feeling salt when you take your bamboo you remember what i told you as for guns they have time for their bamboo in fact i haven't taken the time to observe it when she's preparing bamboo today is the first time even though I enjoy it very well. So I'll add it to it. I'm going to add everything. 
This one, there's no way to remove. Sometimes the salt have screws you need. So at this point, I guess the same process. Make sure it boils over. Mix it a little and allow it to boil over. Oh my bank to burn me. It is. If you want to check if your bank is ready, you can just have a taste. Or you smell it. When you smell it and then it doesn't smell like the corn dough and it smells like bank, you know that it's ready. But when you still have a scent of corn dough in it. You have to let it be on the fire for some time so that all that smell will die off. Okay, some people also said when you bounce it, when you touch it, it will be bouncing. It doesn't get stuck in your hands. So that one also shows that it's ready to eat. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'll take a sizable amount. Wrap it into a ball. Add this to my bowl. You have to do it very fast, else all your bank, all your bank will become canzo in in So burn. Ah, uh, burn. <laughs> all your bank will burn inside the pot. It will become hard. So this one, you have to do it very fast. And you have to be careful else you get yourself bent as well because it's very hot. You have to make sure that Sam doesn't touch your hand. My name is Sandra from Ghana. Keep watching Sandra's Real Life. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.